Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, doing a special video of my unboxing and building of, that's right, the 40th anniversary of Pac-Man Arcade 1-Up Special Edition. I received it and spent several hours putting it together, uh, compressed it all down to about a 30 minute video because it took several hours. So I hope you enjoy the video and in the end, it was worth building. I had a lot of fun doing it and I'm gonna have a lot of fun playing it. Okay, uh, my Arcade 1-Up Pac-Man 40th Anniversary Edition arrived today. And I'm going to do an unboxing, put this thing together in my living room because I don't have any more space. Or actually, this is the most space I have. So, I'm going to have to flip it over and open the other side in a sense and let's see if I uh, what's going on because this thing is heavy and I'm used to moving heavy objects so let's get on with this first thing flip it up shoot it back a little bit go around and slide it down Very easy. Now, this includes the game machine and the stool. So, let's take this apart here. Okay. Okay, okay. I'm gonna bring the camera up here show you inside of the box are multiple little boxes which is good I mean the packaging is excellent and protective of the surfaces so again got this open and let's continue on back here uh, okay first thing got the side panels here and these are your typical pressed together particle board stuff with logos and graphics nice little Nice little foam thing here to protect them. And set that aside and set the panels aside here. Well, that looks like did some really nice packaging here. So This says fragile. I'm not even going to do the the uh, typical fragile joke. Have to go into the kitchen. I get a blade here. As you can see. I debated about buying this because, well, it wasn't cheap, but the key was it had not only the classic edition of Pac-Man, 
it had a couple other Pac-Man stuff, but right here, Galaga. It had it had Galaga on as well. And that's ultimately what kind of spurred me to buy this machine. Again, lots and lots of excellent packaging. Okay, this has the screen and components. Oh. And uh, turn it around so you can see it has the electronics. So, again, power cord, stuff like that. Set that aside. Looks like the header. So, all right, all right, all right, all right. Brad here again, starting over. I got some water and stuff. Now, let's see down here. Power cord. Next box up. Oh, this is a heavy one. Boom. Instruction manual. Important. Boom stuff. Oddly satisfying sound there. Okay, this is the base, actually, because this goes on custom base. Let's set that aside here. well. Yeah, sweating up here. Ah, beautiful. Oop. The control panel. Do not eat the contents of this package, okay? Boom, the control panel. Put that aside. I'm guessing this is the stool, or at least the components for the stool. And I am correct. Components for the stool. But I'm going to put that aside here 
It's going to be one of the last things I assemble. Empty box. Seriously, this is an empty box. In fact, empty box. They put an empty box in as part of the packaging. So that means they wanted to secure this thing enough to where the machine will come in intact and not get damaged with all the bumping and moving around. That is awesome. So I'm going to start putting this thing together step by step. And again, I'm going to take a pause to get a rest, drink some more water. The important part is staying hydrated, folks. Hey, Brad here. Yeah, I'm doing this unboxing video. I moved the main box away and I just opened the literature package. There's the warranty here. Important notice. You know, nice warranty. Enjoy, warning, safe environment, game, in English. Then you got the French and Spanish version. Apparently arcade games can tip over. Not a good thing. But this game does include Pac-Man, Pac-Man Plus, Pac-Man and Pal, Pac-Mania, Super Pac-Man, Pac-Land, and Galaga. Again. This is one of the reasons I bought this machine was Galaga on top of Pac-Man. Two of my favorite arcade games. Then you have the um, owner's manual here. And, or the instruction manual, not owner's manual. Assembly. I will be following this sort of step by step. Uh, they start out with... What you need. Hardware list, etc. All you need is a Phillips head screwdriver to put this together. And they have all the cords and other things. They have a list of what you do. I mean, you look at it, it's just putting it together with pegs and stuff. So, I mean... They start out with assembling the actual game machine, but I'm probably going to do it a little out of order here like most guys do and we think we know how to assemble things better than the assembly instructions here. Um, yeah, I'm actually going to probably put together the base first and then that way I'll have something to set the machine on, and again, the stool, I'll put that together last. So I'm going to start building this and keep filming before I better go get a screwdriver, of course. So hold on while I get a screwdriver. Okay, at this point, I do get a screwdriver. I'm going to fast forward through the assembly process because this video would be exceedingly long.
All right, all right. Now, back from break, took a little break, but before I started filming this, I took some things apart out of the packaging so that I can better get things organized and assembled. Now we're gonna assemble the main video game and it starts with this part here and it indicates that the slot side goes down Okay, next, next step after I got this assembled, I'm supposed to take this out. Yep, this is the main component here. Right here. This is the screen, this is the whole video game component thing. And, well, the next step is to put on plastic things. So I set this down first. Okay, this is where a magnetic tipped screwdriver comes in handy because in there I'm supposed to affix the side panels for the uh, screen. Okay, according to the wiring, I take N here and plug it in here. This is N.
I'm supposed to take M, which is this, the sound. How do I know? Because B, I put the tag, tiger tags on. Plug that in. Okay, and I'm supposed to take, okay, this is X. Ah, I hate wiring. X is supposed to plug in here. And B is supposed to go here. And video game is supposed to go here. Supposed to switch this time. This is supposed to be on, so it is. And you got all that plugged in. Okay, uh, just reading the instructions. There are no pre-drilled holes, so. They actually give you the self tapping screws, which means a lot of work. Okay, I actually assembled the stool without recording it. So, well, I'm not going to unassemble it, but this is the stool that comes with the video game as well. And looking really, really, really nice. And I've got the game hooked up and ready. We should uh, get things fired up, huh? Okay, I got it all set up. Now, here's the real test. It's working. And I bring this in to show you the screen. You can select the game. And I'm going to play some video games. Spent a lot of time assembling this. Sounds good.
Obviously, my Pac-Man skills I need to get kind of brushed up on, but hey, it works. It's wonderful. And I guess you hold this five seconds, and that sends it back to the main menu. Where you can select, like, Galaga. Actually, my Galaga skills need it. But hey, this is cool. This is worth it. Putting it together, assembling it, assembling the stool. Just in general, this was a blast. And now I'm going to play some video games. Well, folks, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. Please do not forget to like, subscribe, whatever you want to do. Stop by my website. Check out the webcomic Teen Spider Adventure posts every Sunday. As always, thanks for stopping by. Mm -hmm.